the rabbi is so smart, or how Helm got bigger. Could you imagine a village filled with nebishers, shmegeges, and shlemils, jerk strips and fools? The town of Helm was such a place. Go figure. All the fools lived in one village. And the rabbi, you ask? Well, he was no genius either. But if you ask a Helmer, a citizen of Helm, what he or she thought of the rabbi, you would hear the same refrain. The rabbi is so smart, no matter what the question, he always has an answer. Rebbe, we have too many he-goats and not enough she-goats. What should we do? Simple, said the rabbi. Call all the he-goats she-goats and all the she-goats he-goats. Now you have plenty of she-goats. Of course, Rebbe. Thank you. You're so smart. Rebbe, which is more important, the sun or the moon? Certainly the moon, replied the rabbi. The sun shines only during the day, when it's light anyway. Tell me, rabbi, it's so cold outside. What should I do? Shiver, answered the rabbi. You see how the rabbi is so smart, agreed all the villagers. In time, Helm, which was at the foot of a mountain, became too crowded. There was no room to build even one more house. Mothers and fathers, grandparents, children and grandchildren all lived together in the same house. Sometimes the cows and the goats lived in the house with them. Soon the chickens had to move in too. Oy ve ismir, may God help us, cried the Helmers. They were fed up, so the villagers all went together to complain to the rabbi. He would have an answer to this problem. Rabbi, the town of Helm is too crowded and too small. You can hardly walk without bumping into someone. Our houses are so crowded and noisy, we can't sleep. We can't eat. There's no room even to sit. It's making us meshuga. Nuts. What should we do? The rabbi thought about this for a while. At least until his head started to hurt. Then he had an idea. We have to push away the mountain to make more room, he announced. So the next morning, all the people of Helm gathered in front of the mountain. Now let's all push together, ordered the elders. The whole town pushed against the mountain. They pushed and pushed for hours. It got to be noon. The midday sun was hot and they began to sweat. They removed their jackets and overcoats, laid them on the ground and continued to push. In the meantime, while the villagers were pushing the mountain, three gonifs, robbers, wandered by and stole all their clothing. The villagers pushed and pushed until they were exhausted. Eventually, they decided to rest and turned around to see how far they had pushed the mountain. They looked way this way and that, and they could not see where they had put down their jackets and overcoats. The rabbi will know where our clothing is, said one of the nebishers. Yes, yes, they all ran to the rabbi and told him what had happened. Mazel tov. Congratulations, exclaimed the rabbi. You pushed the mountain so far that you can no longer see your clothing. And that's how the little town of Helm got bigger. A saying. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs>